Do you know in most countries there are more McDonald's than hospitals? There are McDonald's everywhere in the most remote places like this one in Yangshuo, China or this one in the ski slopes of Sweden. They're a huge corporation with massive marketing budgets and yet 20 years ago here in Sicily in a small town they were defeated by this guy. Whoa. Mm. Mm. This is Kace, a local delicacy from Modiga that it's said to have sent a McDonald's out of business about 20 years ago. The story goes more or less like this. A McDonald's opened shop in Modiga, people started going because it was the new thing and everyone thought it was cool. Then they realized that was gross. The food is highly processed, it's not genuine and that didn't make sense to them to spend three or four euros for a Big Mac or a Happy Meal when they could get one Skacha for one euro fifty and have a more genuine healthy meal and that tasted even better. From that on, because of the lack of demand, McDonald's just shut down. So what is Skacha exactly? What's so special about them? And most importantly, are they really that good? We're gonna get Jay to taste them at the end of the video and see if they're really this big of a deal. Skache have very humble origins. They were initially eaten by poor farmers as a way to recycle their vegetables after a big meal. The key to making good Skache starts from the quality of the ingredients. The dough needs to be prepared and stretched with great care and the ingredients for the filling must be fresh and of high quality. The dough is filled with either a tomato sauce or ricotta cheese base and other veggies, usually fried aubergines, onions and cheese. It is then folded, stuffed again, folded again. The result is a dish halfway between a lasagna and a pizza and quite caloric too. Stereo Sketcher defeating McDonald's sounds like a really cool story about the small guy defeating the bad guy. but like with most stories, we don't really know if that's the entirely true. First of all, we couldn't find a reliable source that said that the actual reason why McDonald's closed was the scache. Local people say it's because everyone preferred to eat scache and we have to take their word on that. And that's okay, we will trust them. Another point to make is that as much as we have all the rights to hate big corporations for a number of reasons, maybe this time McDonald's wasn't that bad for Modica. The thing about McDonald's is that it was employing people with regular contract, paying their holiday leave, paying their extra time and their pension contributions. A thing that for many hospitality workers in Sicily is a mirage, is a dream. Many local businesses, including those ones that make these delicious scache, they're not always fair to their employees. Sometimes they don't even make them a contract and pay them in cash. So a lot of workers here in hospitality have to do a lot of long hours for very small wages. So maybe McDonald's wasn't that much of a villain for the community this time. The local people are so proud and they find Skacha so delicious, but with someone without the local bias and with a more objective view, say the same. Let's see if Skacha will pass. Jesus. I think nothing gets more Sicilian than this. This is the drink that only exists here. <laughs> and this is the local food that we're talking about. So this one is tomato paste with caramelized onion. I guess from the look of my hands. Greasy. It's greasy, but it's also full of flavor. It's, um, it's a lot of carbohydrates. But apart from that, I think it's a, it's a good snack or street food when you're hungry and it's an easy, cheap option. So how is it one to 10? I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. If Jay gave it a 7.5, that might be a nine. So if you're around Modiga, Shigli or Ragusa, make sure you try Scacce because they're pretty delicious. If you wanna see me try and get Jay to like Italian food over the next three or four months, subscribe to the channel because I'll take it to all the best places and we will try all the street food and obviously show you all the best things to do. And then she will take a revenge on me because we will be going to China. So if, if you wanna see me trying stuff like chicken feet and, and other weird things, hit that subscribe button and follow the channel. If you were watching this because you are planning on visiting Sicily or maybe even living there for a while, we made a very useful cost of living guide that you can find linked here somewhere and now I'll go and get some food. See you!